When most outsiders hear the nickname Twin Cities, they usually only think about Minneapolis and St. Paul. But when Minnesotans refer to the Twin Cities, we're typically referring to the seven county metro area around Minneapolis and St. Paul. And although there are seven counties, in this series I'm gonna be covering not only the largest one of the seven, but the largest one in all of Minnesota. That is Hennepin County to be exact, as well as showing you guys a little bit about each of the cities within Hennepin County. So don't go clicking on another video. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Brandon here, AKA your favorite Minnesota realtor. And today we're gonna to be talking about Hennepin County, which is home to Minneapolis and not only the largest county in the Twin Cities, but also the largest county in all of Minnesota in general with a population of 1.3 million. Now, Minneapolis is the focal point of Hennepin County and is located just west of the Mississippi River. And it also borders every other county in the Twin Cities except for Washington County, which actually borders Wisconsin to the east. Now, Hennepin County is actually made up of multiple cities, five of which are in the top largest cities in Minnesota. Minneapolis at number one, Bloomington at number four, Brooklyn Park at number six, Plymouth at number seven, and Maple Grove at number nine. Now, if you're moving to Minnesota for work, then know that a vast majority of our Fortune 500 companies are headquartered in Hennepin County, or more specifically, Minneapolis and the surrounding First Ring suburbs. Some of these companies include Target, Best Buy, Medtronic, United Health Group, and others. Now, one of the good things about Hennepin County is the commute, because even if you go all the way to the edge of the border, like Rogers, for instance, you'll only still be about 40 minutes away from downtown. And that's because there are multiple highways that link the cities together, making it extremely easy to get anywhere you need to within a short amount of time. Now you have Interstate 94 and Highway 394, which you can take both of them directly to downtown Minneapolis, and other highways like 494, which run north and south from Maple Grove to Eden Prairie, before turning east and west towards the airport. Now you can pretty much use these to get to any city you need to in the Twin Cities in less than an hour. Now another great thing about Hennepin County is the large variety of homes and price ranges. You can find a home in cities like Minneapolis that were built in the early 1900s for as little as $200,000 all the way up to the most expensive home ever listed in Minnesota, which was a 19,000 square foot mansion on Lake Minnetonka in Greenwood, Minnesota that was currently for sale for $15 million. Well, it was originally listed for $15 million, but as of the making of this video, it didn't sell for that much and it's currently being listed for $9 million. Now, if you're curious what that house looked like, Ryan Serhant actually did a video tour on it, but, but wait, 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 don't leave yet. I'm not done. I'll link it in the description if you guys at least hit the like button on this video first. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe also, please and thank you. Now, despite the vast price ranges of homes in the county, the median sales price as of January 2023 was 342,000, which is actually smack dab in the middle of all the seven counties. Now, for reference, the national median sales price for January 2023 was 427,000. So we're pretty much well below that. Now, there are some specific cities, however, that are well above that average, which I'll talk about in a little bit. All right, now, given the size of Hennepin County, you can pretty much break it up into sections based on its direction from Minneapolis. Now, now, each of those sections is gonna have a completely different living experience. Now, Hennepin County can pretty much be broken up into North, Northwest, West, South, and First Ring suburbs, basically meaning the cities immediately bordering Minneapolis. All right, so let's get started with your First Ring suburbs like Golden Valley, St. Louis Park, Robbinsdale, Richfield, and Edina. Now, let me tell you, Edina is so nice that I had to do an entire video on it, which you can watch here but for now, I'll give you a little rundown at the end. Now, these cities will give you the best of both worlds when it comes to wanting a little bit of that city lifestyle, but without having to be right in the middle of the city. Now, these are all very vibrant cities filled with unique restaurants, coffee shops, bars, and plenty of outdoor activities like biking trails. Now, these cities can be great for either single individuals who wanna live close to the nightlife of Minneapolis, but they also are just as great for anyone wanting to raise a family. Now, seeing how a lot of companies are headquartered here in Minneapolis and the surrounding areas, Best Buy being headquartered in Richfield, actually, I used to work there. Uh, you're pretty much just an Uber or short bus ride away from work if you don't feel like driving or paying for parking. Now, typically, the style of homes that you'll see in these areas are gonna be mostly like Bungalow, Cape Cod, or Ramblers. I'll just sit. 
for the most part, but you will see some other style of homes as well, which will give you a greater variety of choices. Now, I would definitely say that homes in these areas have a lot more character than homes in the outer ring suburbs, and every home will usually be different from the home right next to it versus some of the cookie cutter developments that you see in some of these other newer developments. Now, if I personally had to choose one of these cities as my favorite, I would probably have to pick St. Louis Park as the overall winner. And the reason being is because I feel like it's the most well-rounded out of all five, meaning that you'll see a variety of people that live there from all areas and demographics. The price ranges of homes in the area are also pretty decent, whether you're looking for your first home or raising a family and looking for an upgrade. St. Louis Park has a great variety of nice restaurants and things to do, with probably the most popular destination being West End, which is an area filled with restaurants, shopping, and a movie theater. And the last reason is probably it's the most convenient whether you're heading to Minneapolis or other cities because it's literally surrounded by highways going in every direction, making your commute very simple. Now, if you want to see the full video of St. Louis Park, I actually have that right here as well. Okay, so let's talk about Edina for a minute because quite honestly, I don't even think it can be compared to the other first ring suburbs and it's really in a class all on its own. Now, again, I did do an entire video on that. So if you wanna watch the in-depth video of Edina, you can watch that here. But for now, I'll just stick to the basics. All right, so for one, there's a name that most Minnesotans call people from Edina and those who live in Edina, and that is cake eaters. Kind of like the phrase, I want my cake and eat it too. Now, I'm not one to hate on anybody. I'm just here to give you guys the facts. The reason being is because in the Twin Cities, the city of Edina is pretty much synonymous with luxury, money, and high end. Now, using housing as an example, the median sales price in Edina is $558,000, which is almost $200,000 higher than the Hennepin County as a whole. Now, the craziest part about that though is that Edina isn't even the most expensive city in Hennepin County. Now, I will be telling you guys which of those cities is the most expensive later in this series, but until until then, let me know in the comments what section of Hennepin County you think it's in. And here's a hint. I may have already given it away earlier in the video. Now, if you hear someone say France Avenue, then you know that they're talking about what's basically the epicenter of Edina and where everything goes down. Now, this is also where the world's first indoor shopping mall, Southdale Mall, is located. Directly next to Southdale Mall is a smaller mall called the Galleria, which you'll find all of your high-end shops like Louis Vuitton and Tiffany's, as well as high-end restaurants like Pittsburgh Blue and Crave. Now, speaking of high-end restaurants, a very popular restaurant in Edina is called Restaurant restoration hardware, which is actually a high-end luxury furniture store on the lower level, with an actual restaurant just being an elevator away on the top level. Now, this restaurant is pretty spendy though, as you would expect, but if you want to splurge, you can order some house-made chips and some caviar for about a hundred bucks. Just make sure you at least post it on social media, otherwise it didn't really happen. All right, next up are the northern suburbs. So if you're interested and want to learn more, you can watch this video next. 